Hi students, let's continue with the agents in artif uh, artificial intelligence. So in the previous video, I explained about what is exactly the agent is. Now before knowing about the different agents, let's I want to explain you some uh, concept, some terms that we came across in the agents. That is the artificial intelligent agents. So sensor. So what is a sensor? A sensor is nothing but it is a device. It is a device. What is the role of this device? It detects which detects the change in the environment. Change in the environment. And sends the information and sends the information to other electronic devices and is just sends an information whatever it is observing in the environment and sends that information to other electronic device. So an agent observes the en environment through sensors only. An agent observes the environment environment through sensors only. Okay. So a sensor we simply call it as it is a device which detects the change in the environment. So if you are taking anything, any artificial intelligence, that artificial intelligence is work uh, based on the environmental conditions. How that system can uh, identify the environment, whatever it is able to see because of the sensors. So this, the sensors is present in that agent. Okay. So that sensor, it is nothing but it is a device. It is able to detect the change in the environment. Whether whether it is uh, the uh, what the condition is there means outside whatever is able to sense whatever it is able to touch or feel or whatever it is able to see that changes in the environment it detects that change in the environment and it sends that information to other electronic devices or it can send that information to the actuators then the actuators will respond uh, based on that conditions that uh, change in the environment so here the agent observes the environment through sensors so that is about the sensors. Next is I am talking about actuators. So I am al always repeating actuators, actuators. So what is this actuators? So it is a component. It is a component of machine. So in the machine you are having one component, any component. Okay. So machine that converts. So that converts energy into motion energy into motion that you call it as an actuators so it is a component of machine that converts energy into motion okay suppose if you take in the car okay the car automatic uh, that is the self-driving car uh, so that car what it is doing uh, here in the car the sensors are there, actuators, one component is there. The sensor is sensing that some heavy traffic is there. So then it sends a signal to the uh, component, to, to what? Means to the electronic device, whatever I said, that is a actuator. So it is a component of machine that converts energy into motion. So now what the actuators have to, the actuators has to send a signal to the tires to slow down the speed means the speed has to be reduced means that here the energy whatever the energy that is giving it is the actuators is doing on into motion energy is converting into motion okay so here uh, the speed of the car so when it reduces the speed uh, okay so whenever it gives some energy to that actuators now the actuators or uh, that energy is converting into motion means it is just uh, reducing the speed of a car and trying to keep the vehicle stable okay means it is reducing the car so that uh, we can uh, the the traffic that is there uh, that the environmental changes can be uh, managed by these actuators so actuators is nothing but it is a component of machine that converts the energy into motion the actuators are only responsible for moving and controlling a system okay it's responsible for you just remember this the actuators is only responsible in the artificial intelligence the actuators are the only responsible for moving and controlling the system 
don't forget this word okay if you are talking about the artificial intelligence means you have to remember these words because everything is based on the sensors and the activators these are the responsible for moving and controlling of the system so an activator can be an electric motor or gears or rails or whatever etc okay so now coming to the effectors so the another term you can came across here is the effectors so effectors are nothing but the device which affect the environment is a device which affect the environment so like it can be legs it can have it can be legs the effector may be a legs or it can be a wheels arms fingers or wings or even a display screens that you call it as an effectors so i i want to explain you in the diagrammatic form let me take this is an environment okay let's take here one agent is there okay so the agent have the legs everything and he is able to send this is a sensor gun he is able to see the environment so now the environment perceives percepts the agent so this is an agent so whatever the changes that are occurring in the environment that percepts the agent now what the agent will do the agent will sense with the help of sensors okay some changes is there in the environment so now the artificial intelligent the sensors detects percepts that uh, changes now the sensors is uh, uh, sending the signals to the actuators that the motion should be i mean energy should be converted into motion okay so then the actuators can uh, is responsible for moving and controlling a system so the action can be seen on the environment okay environment perceives the agents the agents can perform action and that action can be seen on environment so this whatever the motion that is performing either it is moving or jumping or whatever it is the action it is doing that is based on actuators so these are the main terms that you have to uh, learn or you have to know about these terms so let me I, again explain you this example whatever example i said it is a car okay the example for this all these terms are about environment sensors i can take the self driving car so if you take the self driving car in the self driving car the agent is a car we know that the agent is a car then what about the environment okay so here agent is a car and what about this environment this environment you can take it as a road okay that road it is traveling the car that it is traveling on the road on and the nearby cars and other things present on that uh, road so everything comes under the envelope not only the road the other other things that are pre, uh, appear on the road that complete you call it as an environment now the car is observing the environment so in the self driving car the car has able to observe everything in the environment so the environment here it is a road it is a, the the car that it is traveling on the road and nearby cars and other things present on the road you call it as an environment so the car can perceive the car can perceive its environment through traffic primitive sensors like what are the traffic primitive sensors the traffic primitive sensors are nothing but the motion screens location tracking system and other sensors with the help of those things it perceives the environment now the actuators the actuators through which the car acts or the speed through which it manages the speed of car gear box steering for handling directions etc everything will be managed by the percepts that it is received from the environment so here the percepts that we received from the environment is nothing but based on the traffic primitive sensors and the motion screens and locating tracking systems and other sensors with the help of those we can receive that uh, changes in the environment now the car will be work based on that environment thank you